Megan, are your headphones working uh, in there? Loud and clear. Perfect. Both, Both ears. Nice. Okay, good. Ooh, yeah. We're live on the Tracy's Collision Cam if you want to watch the show. We're working on getting this on uh, TikTok. Be listening for uh, whether or not that happens. I don't know. We're trying. <laughs> Probably not this morning, I'm guessing. I don't, yeah. Why am I still single with Michael Tish Jewelers? That's what we're doing today. And um, we're going to get into that coming up here shortly. We're going to have two people on their single. The guy's name is Michael. He's our feature. We didn't have a ton of time to promote him because we had some... It was a rough week for Megan with bookings. We had a couple of cancellations early in the week. Yeah. He's my third feature yeah. this week. <laughs> well, nice work getting something going there. Thanks. But... Have we heard from him this morning? I know you were yet a, you've were you been having nightmares about the show, which is never good. <laughs> I've heard from both showing. of them. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, All they're right. both ready to go. Okay. And he is, uh, he's from New York. How long has he, how long has he been in Nebraska? Since 2006. That is a lot longer than six years. That's I seven. think maybe you heard six. <gasps> what? That's seven years? That's seven years. Oh. 2006. Add four is 20, and then add three more. Add, add four, four is 20. <laughs> add four is 10. Wait a minute. 2006? <laughs> yes. I got 16 in my head. I was thinking 16 in my head. I was like, oh, He's my God. He's been here since 2006. I I my mind. Why am I still calling him a New Yorker? <laughs> I said that to I you this know. morning. And then you were like, he's been here six, uh, 17 six, years. He's been here 17 years, and he's how old? 20, uh, 24. <laughs> So he was seven when he moved here. He's a Nebraskan. He can no longer claim New York. He's trying to claim New York on us, ain't he? You claim Native American. I Let am the guy Native American. It. Let the guy I have am. It. You can't Native deny American. his roots, though. You can tell from his picture. Uh, I know. I need to tell from his accent. I was hoping we'd get a New Yorker accent. You're not going to get it. Listen, no. if he, his parents <laughs> moved with him and they still had the accent and he grew up around the accent, he probably has the accent. Mm, I don't know if that's how that I don't works. Think so. <laughs> Because here, listen, I love this place and everything, but conformity is the name of the game. So if this kid comes here with a New Yorker accent, he has got to conform to the other Nebraskan accents. I think you naturally Because kids aren't looks, nice. Huh? That's in general, kids aren't nice. But I right. know that, but there's a, there's a conformity issue around here. I think it's just because everybody else, uh, ha- talks the same. I don't, I don't know. That's just one layer of it, yeah. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Oh, but wouldn't you feel out of place if I had a if I had a New York, New Yorker accent at seven? First of all, he was seven years old. So yeah. what you think of like a little seven year old mafia boy? Like, what well, would he say? What's a New Yorker sound like? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I know. <laughs> I'm walking here. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. That's there perfect. it is. <laughs> uh, well, we're excited to meet him. His name is Michael. He may go by Mike. I don't know. We'll find out when we bring him on the show. And the girl that we have for him. You feel like he's a pretty good match, too, Megan. Yes, I do. Okay. I got the, I got the, you said tingles. Yeah, you got the you tingles. Got the tingles. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I did. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll bring Michael on the show just to meet him and get him ready. And then not shortly uh, after that, we'll be doing Why Am I Still Single with Michael Tis Jewelers? That is on the way. Gary and Johanna. First thing in the morning. They make going to work that much better. Froggy 98. Good morning. Morning, yo. Good morning. Forget about it. Forget, forget about, about it. Forget about it. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> you could do it. You're is it Rocky like a New York type accent? Yeah, he's yeah. just go with Philadelphia. Yeah. I don't know. Is that the same? <laughs> hey, you LA. That's not the same. <laughs> I know. No. That was deep. I morning, guys. False advertising. What does or that what? mean? Morning, guys. False advertising. I don't get it. False advertising the New York stuff. Oh. That makes sense. Mm-mm. Sure does. I still think back to the roots. Oh, we got him. Oh. Oh, make sure his sound works. Mm. Moment of truth. Ooh, oh, there he is. Oh, he got like that, a nice little candle. Oh, yeah. Some ambiance. Oh. I'm trying to check out what he got going oh, on a bit. You're yeah. muted. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love we never had a bedroom shot before. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. How we doing? Yo, what's Yo. up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was eight when I no. moved here from New York, <laughs> by the way. What? Uh, oh, you were eight when you Yeah, moved. I was eight years old. So one year difference, but uh I don't have the accent like uh my father does. He's a uh, hardcore New York accent. He's from Queens. No oh, way. Nice. Here, save legit. all of this, Mike. Okay, Is it Mike yeah, or yeah. Michael? Mike or Michael. What do you really want? You tell me. To me. You can call me Mike. Okay, we'll go by Mike. We're going to put you into the waiting room. We'll bring you on in a sec, okay, buddy? You look great. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Right, man. Okay. I like this guy. I'm I do, too. I'm a big too. fan. I'm a big fan. He's I been, you know what's so funny, too, is how I found him. He how? was trying to meet the bachelorette that I posted. He oh, was. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I snagged in and I she grabbed him. him. How'd you catch him? How'd so, you even see that interaction? I can tell by interact by their message. I can read into if they're going to be good or not. Oh, I understand. He messaged us trying to get. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yeah, he texted us. And he was just the way he, he texted. The way, yeah. yeah, just everything about him. And I am. He was very responsive, and I, and then he sent a picture. Like he did all the steps without me having to work for it. That's nice. It was great, and I immediately had a good feeling about him. If I just get a plain text, it's like I want, I want a meter, and that's <laughs> it. I'm like, oh. Mm, I love what? New York style pizza. <laughs> How is it? Thin. Yeah, they oh. fold it in half, right? Yeah, it's and like huge pieces. And, yeah. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever had that. Yeah. When I lived in Tulsa, there was this, there was a, a place that made it, and they were from New York. And nicest people, but they always, like, you could hear them fighting and stuff, like arguing <laughs> back in the kitchen. Yeah. I think that I would like that because it would make me feel like it was authentic. Yeah. I'd feel at home. I felt that What way. were they yelling at each other about? Though? I don't know. Sometimes it's not, like, I have a huge Italian family. Sometimes it's not, like, you're not even upset, but no. everybody yells it's over each other. just the tone, right, yes. yeah. You should see our we holidays. We are not Italian, and everybody in my family yells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all good, Haley. Got it all taken care of. I feel better. I still got some stuff down in there, but it's, it's you, coming out. Yeah, you, you sound wheezing better. this morning a little bit. Yeah. It's starting to break up in my chest. I think you look better like you just look more alive you physically look better you know when you get sick it's in your eyes <laughs> yeah you i get sick guys eyes. i know they're a little a little heavy yeah a little tired yeah you look you awake. up and up i think i'm on the down and down better get up and up well i would like to <clears throat> i can work my magic on you later me yeah if you're down i'll energize you have you been thumping your thymus no, I forgot about Thumb it. Thumb your thigh, what? Thymus. <laughs> You're supposed to do this. The middle yeah. one's your thymus. Wait, oh. Sorry. Yeah, you can just skip to that one <laughs> if you just need to get to it. Or rub it if you're out in public and you don't want to tap it. I witnessed a couple that was deaf mute arguing. What? How do you do that? Do you argue in sign language? <laughs> yeah, like angry signing. Right. Oh, I can tell. My cousin's deaf, and my aunt, she, I, I've seen her angry sign at him. Really? Mm -hmm. Real? Oh, wow. That'd be intense. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I'm so excited for today. Um. <laughs> Doug, that's terrible. Sign and mumble. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the one that said you saw it, Melissa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was a kid, I <laughs> they would like tell us to go tell my cousin like it's time to eat or something. Go tell go tell him it's time to eat. And we was like, this is so terrible. He probably looked at us like we were idiots. We would like fake sign. We thought that we knew how. Oh so my So we would gosh. just like make. We would just do that and be like, it's time to eat. And he was deaf. And he yeah, and he's, he's probably like, like these like, idiots. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I thought I was like, yeah, I can sign. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really embarrassing now to look back on. Uh, yes. I, just, I think the ability to read lips is just absolutely amazing. It is. Do you yes. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't feel like I open my mouth a lot when I talk, like all the way. Ooh, like you'd be but a hard person to I read. I think I would, but I don't know. Like they're very good. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm. But 
They are, but I, what I don't get is that, like, have you ever seen, like, those bad lip reading ones? No. It's, it's really funny. I'll show you something. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I have. Okay. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. But... I have. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So how can you, like, right. know exactly what about people that. are saying? I never thought about it. Why am I still single with Michael Tiss Jewelers? Every Thursday we bring on a couple of single people and we try to make them. Uh, we don't try to make them interested in the other person. We just kind of sit back and see if it happens naturally. Yeah. So we're doing again this morning. We have uh, Mike is joining the show. We've uh, falsely been saying that he is a New Yorker. He is not really, kind of. He moved to Nebraska when he was, how old were you, Mike? Seven or something like that? Eight. Eight. Eight years old. Do you have any memories of living in New York? Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was born in Long Island City, and I I lived in Long Island as I said till I was eight. Yeah. Uh, we had the biggest block in the entire neighborhood. It was about or not the biggest block, the biggest yard. It was a hundred feet long. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Why did you guys uh, move to Nebraska? Uh, work or something? Uh, my mom is from Alliance, Nebraska. Really? And oh. My dad's from Queens, and sometime after uh, 9-11, it was a tragedy. It was, it was pretty dark there. Uh, my family decided to relocate here. My dad's a local chiropractor in town. Nice. And, no way. Uh, I need to come see him. Yeah, Potestas <laughs> Family Chiropractic. Okay. So, nice. And his Potestas. name is uh, Dr. Michael Potestas. <laughs> so, Potestas? Oh, you're a junior. I'm technically a junior, yeah. Is that oh. right? What was it like? Yeah. We'll get to the dating part in a minute. I'm just so fascinated. <laughs> Gary. Like, did you, does your dad, did he, like, growing up, being raised by a New Yorker, was it, like, verbally difficult? What do you mean? Like, I just imagine him yelling all the time. <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that it was difficult. You know, I have two loving parents. Uh, yeah. My dad had a totally different lifestyle growing up. I bet. Uh, his family structure just was a bit different, but... yeah. Um, you know, I would say that he has been a great dad, you know, yeah. he was not verbally abusive, but, <laughs> um, I may have worded that wrong. Gary, uh, uh, I just, just want to say that, you know, the uh, style of living in New York, people are a lot tougher. Yeah. Uh, and people could say and fit the stereotype. They're a lot meaner, but yeah, it's just like any person here. Um, yeah, my dad was a bit tougher than my mom. Yeah. Just because he was was born into a different culture, I guess you could say. Do you feel uh, like, Mike, do you feel like you're a Nebraskan? I mean, do you plan on staying here for your, is this where you're going to plant your roots? That's a great question. Uh, I'm sure my answer will make you happy right now. I consider myself a Nebraskan. Yeah. Um, but I do not plan to live in Nebraska for the rest of my life. Right. What do you do for a living? I'm a digital marketing strategist. I actually just left my job at the Lincoln Journal Star. Okay. And uh, right now I'm just working for some private businesses, helping out with their digital media and whatnot. Um, in my free time for work, yeah. I actually have been with Rokeberry Farm for about 11 years. I really? started volunteering when I was 12. Are, uh, you're one of the scary for, people. I am. If you've been there or have seen any of their promos, you've probably seen me. I'm uh, like a ringmaster type of clown with a, an electric zapping stick. <laughs> Dang. That's <laughs> a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. If, if I, I could like pull it. up He's a well photo, I, I'd show you. It's pretty yeah. fascinating. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys will have to come and check us out there, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. We will fun. now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Mike is, uh, the first time ever, I believe, Mike is in his bedroom for Why Am I Still Single, which is, I love it. Uh, it's nice and intimate. I love the candle. I Me do, too. too. It's a nice touch. Do you, do you usually make your bed, or do you just do it for the show? No, I make my bed. You know, it's the small things in the morning that make your day great. So. Okay. All right. I Are you excited it. about what's about to happen? I'm super excited. I've never done anything like this. Yeah, we don't know if it's going to work, Mike. Just <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's kind of work. a funny story how I got here because uh, I had a, a friend uh, share the link with me to your guys' uh, last bachelorette of the week. Yeah. And so I texted in to enter myself as a candidate. 
And then, you know, she had a work conflict. And next thing I knew, I was being asked to join. I said, why not try it out? You That's know, right. awesome. I nabbed, I nabbed you right what up. Got lose? What do you got to lose? <laughs> well, it. from what we hear, I haven't met the girl that, that we're having on here for you, but Megan uh, thinks that this is a good match. Yeah, she's great. You and she will determine that. All right. And what have you seen any of these, Mike? I uh, haven't looked yet. Okay, that's okay. Let me explain what's going to happen. You're going to be blindfolded. Do you know that part? Yeah, I've got one ready. Okay, she okay. is not. She knows what you look like already. So you guys are going to do a blind date, which means you're just going to talk. Everybody's going to listen to you. you guys talk. And then uh, you're going to take the blindfold off and see her. And then you and she will both decide whether or not you want to exchange information. And that really is, if you decide that, yeah, I'm into her, then that's that's it. Just, yeah, I can, I'll can. i agree to continue to talk to get to know you a little bit more. The only thing that's a little bit different, Mike, is uh, a, there's a, an option for a steal where there could be a woman that's watching this that wants to steal you away from the girl that we have uh, on to meet you this morning. And that can also work for her where a guy would want to steal her away from her. Am I saying that right? A guy her would want to steal him. her away from you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but let's not worry about that. If that if there is somebody who's interested in either Mike or the girl, then you'll want to text Steel to 474 Frog. But we're going to take a quick break. When we come back in just a few minutes, you'll meet the woman that that uh, we have matched for you with Why Am I Still Single, okay? Sounds great. All right, and if you want to watch this, you can. We are live on the Tracy's Collision Cam on Facebook, Froggy981 or Froggy981.com. We're back in a few minutes. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Gary and Johan. Okay. All right, Mike. Just sit tight, okay, buddy? We'll be right back. Oh, he's so fun. Mm. That's crazy. I'd scare myself if I worked out there. You guys you get scared of that you stuff? I yeah. know. No, I don't get scared of that stuff. I do. <laughs> Did I, I scream. I am a screamer. Last This last year... I tried making Dan go through the scary house with me, and he wouldn't do it. He is scared? Yes, I guess. He's, what's funny is he's done it with me in the past. You can start getting scared the older you are. More scared. Yeah, is that true? Well, I get I'm that. scared of heights now. I wasn't as a kid. That's a good point. Not really the same, but kind of. There's our girl. Hey, Shelby. Good morning. How are you all? I shall Good. be. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank I love you. the French doors in the background. You know, so fancy. Yep. Are you at yep. home? Are you at home or work? Um, both actually, because I work from home. No so this way. is my way. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I love your hair. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I need <laughs> to give a compliment. Now. <laughs> Johanna, your I turn. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> cute glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, we have him all ready to go. Were you watching that part? Yes, I shouldn't have. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, no. Sure, you should have. Get all good. the info you can. Yeah. You have no rules. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back with you in just a few minutes, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> I wonder what her initial thought is. I know. Mm. I'm kind of curious. Right. It's a good question. What do you think just from looks so far? Do you think they'll be cute? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, right? Goody. Oh, should I put on the blindfold? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're going to have some comfy theater action out of this. Oh. Garrett's in. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. I know. I'm trying. struggling today, guys. <clears throat> she wore her half shoes. Is that what she said? Or half shoes. What's that? They're like I think slippers? they're the ones that oh, are open on the back. Yeah, she you know, wore slide slippers. in or like the slide in sneakers. You seen those? She has yeah. black ones. I have some like that. Yeah, they make you shuffle. I want something to hold my heel. I don't like you. Sh you already shuffle your feet, kind of. <laughs> Let me see them. Um... Thanks, Katrina. Oh, yeah, I don't think I would like that. I feel I like my foot has fallen out a long time. Do you wear socks in there? I want to. No. No? I don't. I think it would look weird. Look Can weird they do the just toe sock like for half the foot? <laughs> I think they do have those, actually. <laughs> it would just slide down all the time, wouldn't it? Oh, you just remind me of toe socks, and I hate toe socks. 
the ones where the toe is going to the individual. It's individual. Like, it's like cotton to me. It socks usually are cotton, aren't they? Well, I know, but it's like they're just like rubbing together. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, I just don't think I'm the type of person that's good at walking in these. Good shoes. morning, Troy. I keep trying though. They look cool. <coughs> Thanks, Maggie. I, you know that I thought someone uh, was breaking into our house. I still am nervous about. I that. thought it was debunked. Yes and no. I can. I am missing things. What about the washer? Did you figure the washer out? No, but it didn't happen yesterday. Oh, okay. That's good. I don't know. I, did I not think you're it. stockable. I know, but isn't it? It's just weird. We had somebody when I was, um, this is really creepy. <gasps> is it going to scare me more about my situation? Mm-hmm. It's, it's debunked. Philo was the one doing it, but... What? Tell me. We found a chair outside of our bedroom window. Shut up. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Your house here? No. Oh, it was okay. in. Um, it was in Missouri. What did you do? Well, I moved the chair. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure the curtains were shut. I mean, I. But did you put like a camera out then? This or? was like pre-camera. Oh. This is before all the rings. This is before. That is super weird and creepy. Yeah. Or is it when you were little, like a boy? It, no, it's like when our baby, when Grady was a year old. <gasps> oh, that's yeah. so scary. Oh, that makes me want to vomit. Yeah. Yep. That makes me sick. Ew, gross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Arlo's good. I have Simply Safe. I need to get a camera. I like back. my Simply Safe system. I cannot believe the ring did not. I watch Shark Tank all the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. I told you that, didn't I? Yeah. I cannot believe that. I know. They passed on the ring. I know. I know. And now it's a billion dollar company. Crazy. Yeah. They had him back Probably as one they... of the sharks one time. Unbelievable. I would have said no way. The name was different. They didn't have it. It wasn't called the ring. I can't remember. It was a dumb oh, name. Oh, yeah, that's right. It... Well, and think about this. There's already camera systems at the time. Yeah. But just not as like I could see how friendly. you would think it would be stupid. Oh, Doorbot. It was originally called Doorbot before ring. Is that right? Yeah. D-O-O-R-B-O-T-L, one word. I don't like Doorbot. You do? No, I don't, I don't like that name. Doorbot? No, that's I can remember not when good. it fir- when it first came out. I'm like, that's a dumb idea. I'm, I was saying it was a dumb idea, but now I own two of them. No, you know what? <laughs> he, you thought it was dumb. You got one, and then you tried try to sell it to you. He almost sold. <laughs> Megan, get this. What? <laughs> he was gonna trade me a rice cooker for a ring. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I almost got him. Oh yeah. my god! And then he looked up the freaking price of the rice cooker. That's we did. That was a we gift did to you. Together. Which yeah. was so stupid on my <laughs> part. Wedding. Oh, that's funny. And then we found out it was significantly not in equal. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. But funny. I told you I would pay the difference. And then look, now I had to buy my own. Yeah, you did. Which I was going to talk to you about <laughs> because I do. I really do need to get another camera. For the back. Yeah. Is it, is the, is, should I get another ring? Yeah. Or is it annoying because of the batteries? Not if you can get it wired. Yeah. You if can you get the battery wire. one, there's two batteries you can put in it. It's a little, it's a, you know, you have to charge them every couple of months. It's oh, not that, that's not bad. No, it's not a bad idea. It's not that bad. A couple of months isn't bad. No. But it's a lot better if you can have them hardwired. It is. And you yeah. never have to worry about it. I'm sure Dane can do that. You just attach it. To a light that you have out there already. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Haley, I'm just off today. I'm sorry. I look confused. Is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm tired. I got. <coughs> happens to the best of us. Personal. Yeah, it's so I need a personal day, rain. you know? That's a good idea. Forgot about solar panels. What do you mean you forgot about solar panels? Oh, someone suggested that to. Charge up your ring. A solar panel. You can use. You know how expensive a solar panel is. Like an itty bitty. I don't know. I don't either. (laughs) That's what they have, I guess. You can. Oh, cool! Someone else did it. What? Well, then it has to be in sunshine. There's sun eventually. Is yours in shadow? Well, what if it's not sun all over? (laughs) It is eventually. Trying to get us to go to Best Buy. How is it sun? (laughs) (laughs) How is sun all over though? 
Well, it's aren't there areas that are always shaded? Every single hour of every single day? No. Yeah. Because we're we're moving. We're spinning. There are areas that are always shaded. There, there and could you're going to be, be under trees. a roof? Okay. We're about to bring on our couple for Why Am I Still Single with Michael Tish Jewelers. His name is Mike. Her name is Shelby. Mike, why don't you go ahead and put the blindfold on, buddy? All right. Okay. We're going to begin. You're going to meet this girl. You're going to go on a blind date. Everybody is watching and listening. Don't pay attention to that, though, Mike. Sounds good. No worries. If you want to steal either Mike or Shelby, then you'll want to text the keyword, which is uh, steal to 474 Frog and tell us which one you want to steal. You could win tickets to Jake Owen if it happens to work. Are you ready to go, buddy? Can, can you yeah. see out of there? No, you can't see, right? I can't okay, see. Okay, perfect. Let's bring on uh, Shelby, who we met off the air a few moments ago. Shelby is uh, at her house as well. She's working from home. Hi, Shelby. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Just checking your phone. Are you getting a lot of messages this morning from friends and family about this? Um, just a few, but I was actually checking my work phone, so oh, getting some emails. Tell them that you're in a, in a conference call for 10 minutes, 15 minutes? <laughs> exactly. Um, have you seen any of the Why Am I Still Singles that we do every Thursday? I have. I have. You've had some uh, dramatic ones lately. We've so had some really good uh... ones, have we not? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. um, do you, so do you have any questions about what, what's about to take place here? I don't think so. That's amazing <laughs> no. to me. I'm watching Mike. Mike is blindfolded, yet he knew exactly where the refrigerator was and had to get into that to get a drink. Did that you see that? That was impressive. While blindfolded. He's done that several times, I believe. Um, <laughs> guys, we're going to go on a blind date here. We're going to do a blind date, and then you two are just going to talk, and we're not even going to, we're not, we're not going to, uh, you know, intrude in your conversation. And then eventually, Mike, you'll take the blindfold off and then decide whether or not you guys want to exchange information, okay? Sounds are you, good. Are you ready to get it going? Ready. Okay, Mike, why don't you introduce yourself to Shelby and let's start the blind date portion. Hey, Shelby, my name's Michael. How we doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Uh, what do you got going on today? I've actually got a pretty easy day. I've got a couple meetings I'll dial into, but other than that, I get uh, get some time to uh, do what I need to around the house and run some errands and whatnot. So it's going to be an easy day for me today. That's what I'm talking about. So are you uh, are you from Nebraska? I am. I grew up in uh, Malcolm, which is about 20 minutes outside of Lincoln, and um, my parents still live out there, so I still venture out there every once in a while, but um, went to UNL in Lincoln, and I've stayed in Lincoln ever since. Nice, nice. What uh, What's your degree? Um, I did biz business administration, um, and I kind of wish that I would have done management, because now I'm in management, and would have been helpful to have some of those classes, but um, no, it was great. I had a I had a great experience at UNL. Awesome. Well, uh, let's get to some deeper questions here. What do you uh, enjoy doing for fun? Some hobbies? Yeah, um, I work from home, so I have to be pretty intentional of being social outside of work hours. So um, I hang out with my friends quite a bit, and we love doing local events. Um, I heard that you haven't always been from Lincoln, but uh, Lincoln is a little gem, and I think people um, underrate it. So we like to go out to some of the local events and um, check stuff out and support local businesses. So um, whether that's shopping or drinking or um, just seeing events, we're, we're going to a lead event tonight, actually. So um, lots of that, and I'd like to do some travel as well. So a um, little bit of everything. It sounds good. Do you ever plan on relocating from Lincoln? Um, I don't know. I I have a good group of friends and family here, um, so I like to I like to see them and hang out with them. So, um, but yeah, I nothing has kind of taken me away from Lincoln thus far. But um, I'm I'm open to options. All right. Well, uh, what do you look for in your ideal partner? 
Great question. Um, I need a sense of humor for sure. Um, my friends tend to tell me that I'm funny as well um, when you get to know me, but um, sense of humor and uh, loyalty and uh, trust and good communication. So. I love that. Yeah, great communication, having a great sense of humor. Uh, I forgot to mention, I also have a I have an associate's degree in business management. My my major um, bachelor's degree was in advertising and public relations. But uh, yeah. eventually, I'd like to relocate from Lincoln. I'm I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. This is a very nice place. It'd be a great place to raise a family. You know, being from New York and traveling a few places west of uh, Nebraska, there's a lot more to see than just what's here. Um, and you know i've had great memories here made a great uh group of friends um and i i also have family here um family in iowa and then obviously i have a bunch of f family out there in nebraska and some in or sorry new york and some in florida so we're, we're kind of spread out but have you ever traveled outside of the country yeah, um, I was actually just mentioning this earlier. I uh, we took a trip to Portugal last year, and that was amazing. And uh, we did Australia right before the pandemic, which was a perfect time to travel. So um, I've got a I've got a group of girls and my sisters that I travel with pretty often. So um, we've got a couple weddings this year, so we're not doing too much international traveling, but looking to do some more next year and see where else we can visit guys we're going to stop the date there you can continue to talk and you will on the tracy's collision cam if you want to catch that uh then you have to it's what you'll hear while we're playing these commercials go to facebook froggy 981 or you can go to froggy 981.com so we'll take a break when we come back we'll read some of the comments because people are commenting on how they think that this is going whether or not you guys were a match we'll let you know what they say N not that that matters it could influence you i guess and then if you're interested in either Mike or Shelby, if you're listening to this or watching this and, and you're like, God, I, I think I'd be a better match for him, text Steel right now to 474-FROG. You have to do it right now. And if we have a steal for either of you two, we'll pull you aside a minute and, and tell you that, and then you'll have to decide what, how you want to go about this, uh, whether or not you want to stay with the person that you're on with now or you want to entertain the steal, okay? Um... We'll find out that when we come back here in three minutes. This is Why Am I Still Single with Michael Tis Jewelers. I can't get through a morning without the morning show. You're waking up with Gary and... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you guys keep talking. Act like we're not here, okay? Deal. Um, okay, how did you get into Roca? I heard you talking about Roca earlier. How how did that come about? Because that's a pretty cool gig. Yeah, and it's actually a really long story. So back in middle school... Uh, my friends, you know, I didn't know of Roka yet because I had moved here late elementary school, but they told me about Roka Berry Farm and they had the scary activities and whatnot. So as, as a middle schooler, we went and checked it out and I thought it was the shit, right? And um, one of my buddies said that we could volunteer. So we went and we volunteered once and I said, this is something I could do again. And the, the reason we volunteered is because they said we're too young to get paid. So we volunteered for uh, maybe like 70% of that scaring season year. And then I volunteered the next year. After that, I became a paid scare, which, you know, as a young kid seemed like the most amazing gig ever. Yeah. And I got paid for about four, maybe five years. And then the owners of the farm, they asked me, if I would like to step up and help them manage the farm, there there used to be an attraction by itself. It was called the Sinister Sinister Circus, and that is the one I ended up taking over. And I did a full upgrade on my costume. I became this ringmaster clown called Oscar, and yeah, it kind of took off from there. They started doing promo photos of me, making me their they're like poster boy in a way or poster child. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience uh, from there. I They didn't ask me to, but I always like to go up and beyond. 
So I helped them out with their public relations. I started bringing in the media, you know, the voice out of Hickman, the Lincoln Journal star, Channel 2, Channel 10. At one point, I tried to get Froggy 898 down there. I can't remember how that went about, but I don't know if they made it. I brought in so many news sources out there that I kind of lose track. Um, and yeah, it's gotten to the point where like the journal star last year, before I ended up getting a job there, they actually wrote an article about me and you could check that out online. It's like, I think it's called headlining Roka scary farm, Oscar, their frightening leader or something. Um, yeah, so now I've been with them. I go with them to uh, trade shows around the country, you know, preparing for the scary season. And I've written stories about it. Um, I'm actually right now trying to write a like a, a book about it um, in its own nonfiction or fictional creative way. And so I'm a very creative person. I enjoy, you know, the set building and the designing and I really like scaring kids and things like that out there, only out there. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's a feel, Michael. <laughs> I think you were underselling it there for a second. That's a pretty big deal. Facebook.com slash froggy nine eight one. Why am I still single, Michael Tischulers? <laughs> we have Mike and Shelby. They've been chatting it up here on the cam. If you're listening, if you're watching on the Tracy's Collision Cam, you got stuff you can't get on the radio. Time to find out what everybody's saying about the two, and then we'll let you know whether or not there's a steal on the table. Johanna, what com comments are coming in here? This is such a mixed bag. It's kind of <laughs> crazy. So we got Katrina says cold. He wants to leave. She wants to say, stay. Um, then Jennifer says sounds like a potential Hallmark movie, and then everybody's like, like this could go either way. Uh -huh. And then some people are saying cold, some people are saying hot. But there's something that needs to be cleared up. I can't find the comments, but there's a couple different ones. Michael, people think that you're chewing. I'm chewing? Yeah, like, you have a like chew in. Like dip. You dip. Like a dip in. No. No. I no. didn't dip. think so. I didn't either, but uh -uh. yeah, he just, th thanks for proving. He just <laughs> proved it to us. Yeah, ladies have been like, how rude. Yeah, why is he put chewing. a dip in? I'm Maybe like, what? I'm like, grabbing I'm my like... bottle and spitting, but I'm just drinking. <laughs> <seven> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, we don't know. Uh, we don't know where this is going to go. It's time to find out whether or not there's a steal on the table. If, one, if somebody was interested in stealing you away from each other, they needed to text the word steal to 474 frog. Time to find out whether or not there is one. Megan, have you had any come in? I had someone messaging me privately that was interested in Shelby, but they think that this might be a better match. Don't Why like do that. people do I that? Don't I like know. when they do that. I know. Crazy. You gotta go get what you want. You I know what you I mean? Want. I I know. Okay, so no. No, no steal. Right. Okay, then we're gonna move forward with the two of you, and it is about time for Mike to take off his blindfold so he can see. But show not yet, not yet, Mike. Mike. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We like to build it. We like you. to build it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, go for it. What do you think she looks like, Mike? Um, that's a really great question. At least five foot five. <laughs> the guys always go height. height. Um, At least five foot five. <laughs> she sounds tall, does she? What did she say? What did she say? To uh, I'm five four. Five four. Done quite. She's a little shorter. Than oh, you. that's okay. Those five four girls are cool. <laughs> Pretty close. Um, she's a woman. Sounds like a woman. Yeah. Yeah, she's a woman. We have a woman for you this morning. And uh, honestly, I can't can't put a put a color on the hair, but I guess I'll find out. Uh. All right. Are you ready to see her? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and take your blindfold off now? You probably might gonna have to swipe. I would assume on your. I don't know how you're watching us, but. Just let us know when you can see Shelby. She's wearing glasses. Hey. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? 
good, good, good. I'm glad to uh, be here now. <laughs> yes, fully present. There you go. You didn't feel like you were here a minute ago, Mike? I was here. I was just blindfolded. Yeah. It's Got all your senses back. It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day that you wear a blindfold, you know? No. I know. You seem pretty good at it, though. You seem comfortable blindfolded. You navigated well. Well, yes. it's like the scary stuff that he does. He can, you know. Oh, yeah. You got a mask over your face, I would oh, assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually paint my face. It takes about 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, let's do first impression, Mike, of uh, Shelby now that you can see her. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh. That's interesting. April on the Tracy's collision cam says, oops, the reaction wasn't good. What? But that's just a listener. That's a listener's two cents. That's just a listener. That doesn't, (laughs) they don't matter. (laughs) They don't matter. (laughs) Don't listen to them. Listen to your heart. He said she's beautiful. What did he say? What did he say again, Mike? She's beautiful. But he put a lot of emphasis on the beautiful. I thought he did. Yeah. Felt genuine to me. Shelby, now that you can see him, not just the, the picture that we put up was a good picture of Mike, too. I liked it. But now that you can see him, and do you like the way he looks? He's very handsome. Yes, yeah. I agree. You like the way he moves? Johanna is a move kind of girl. Like, he doesn't move very stuff. much. Like, what, his head? <laughs> <laughs> seven up, Joanna. He did move to get that seven up. So. That's right, he did. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're at the part of the show where you have to decide whether or not you want to exchange information. That's all you'll do if you if you decide to. If you don't, then that is okay, too. Okay, we have that happen a lot. So don't feel pressured into it one way or another. Uh, what we're going to need you to do is turn your head. Johanna, are you going to ask her, though, before we move forward? Oh, my gosh. Ask her? Yeah. She had a... <laughs> pizza, a pizza question, I think, because he's from New York. Yeah. I just didn't know what flavor of pizza you like. Like, um, I don't know, Italian sausage. Is this for me or for Michael? That's for you. Do you like Italian sausage? We don't know. We're just guessing. His last name is Potessa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm going to get um, hard beef for this, but uh, I'm more of a pineapple person. Um, I oh, like the meat. I, I like the pineapple. Pineapple. That's cool. pineapple. She That'd thinks we're talking about pizza for real. I know. I know. <laughs> because pineapple means swinger, doesn't it? Pineapple means swinger. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Ah! <laughs> Guys, what you're going to do is turn your head away from the camera because we don't want you to see the other person's response, okay? So turn your head away from the camera. And then, sh- and then to either give a, uh, a thumbs up or a thumbs down and continue not to look. Okay, go ahead and do that now. All right. Let's go ahead and start with Shelby and, and continue not to look. Shelby, do you have a thumbs up or a thumbs down? What is, what is it? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Say it. Oh, I can say it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Mike, what about you? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Mike has a Woo! thumbs up. Congratulations, yeah! you two. We have a match. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is give you each other's information and then hands off. We're not going to we're not going to uh, reach out to you. Now Megan is nosy, so she may <laughs> I will. She may reach out to you, but the the hope is on Monday we'll have you guys back on the show or at least find out what's going on with the two of you whether or not this is going someplace or if it's not, okay? So, uh, best of luck to you. Just sit tight here and we'll get you each other's information, all right? Sounds good. Okay, it's wonderful having you on the show. That's uh, Why Am I Still Single with Michael Tis Jewelers. I just love the show. Let me listen every morning. Gary. Okay. Nice job, guys. Hey, all right, you two. I'll text you both um, here in a little bit and switch your info, okay? All right. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks all for right. coming. Thank you guys so much for being on. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Mm. Oh, the good part is whether or not they actually go out. I don't think either of them has a secret attachment behind. You guys were totally hating on it. I don't feel like I saw what everybody else was seeing. Who was hating on it? There was a lot, a lot of hate the today. Comments. Listeners were. Yeah, Started, yeah, and well, what's hard when I go to read comments, I like scroll up and I because I want to read old ones, and then when I scrolled back the mm-hmm. other way, there was a bunch that were like, I know. He was kind of uh, he's a super nice guy. 
Seemed like it anyway, you know? Yeah. yeah. But he was kind of, I don't know, just... What? I don't know. I just think the whole thing is weird. If you're blindfolded it is, and you're it doing is. a date live, like, yeah. yeah, it's easy to interview. It's easy to... Yeah. Well, here's the thing, too. A lot of, like, think about having a conversation with someone. You're really, like, playing off each other, right? You're, like, looking at right. each other. Right. Kind of, like, getting the vibe. Yeah. And you can't do that at no. all. You're talking you're like right. to yourself. That's, you're right. That's it's an part. odd deal. It's the same. Like that's why I don't like. I want to want to do <laughs> no. like afternoons or anything like that because I don't want to talk to myself. I like talking to people. I, I want to see people. I know. I know. I do know. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> oh, I need to message I, myself. Did you feel awkward asking the Italian sausage? It ended no. up working. It didn't work though. She didn't understand. <laughs> that, that's but why it was it worked. so funny. It that's why so... it worked. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't. No, I. Don't... I usually don't in the moment. It's all the thoughts. It's yeah, all the thought. Yeah, you know, yeah, when you think yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I need to get better at is reading those ones. Like I just don't want to make people feel. It's a fine line. You don't want to make the guests feel bad because you want people to want to be on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the, because some comments would be good to read, but I think they would make people feel bad, and I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Can you do it now? What? From memory? From memory? Make yeah. people feel bad? If they, if no, bring up the comments that people said, huh? Did people he talk were too much? He was talking too much. Yeah. It's difficult, though. I know you're supposed to let a woman talk. I get that. You know? I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it was all good. Well, she needs to know about him. She needs to get to know about him. Right. I'd way rather have a guy who talked than just sat there. Oh, I know. And then you have to talk? Right. No. Please And it kind of gives you a gauge more into them, too. Like, I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Oh! I hope this... I'm trying to remember my password. I need <laughs> Yeah. Anthony, it's not that hard to talk blind. <laughs> what do you say? Anthony said, it's not that hard to talk blind. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm. Um, they were very clear about how he does not want to stay in Nebraska. Well, and she he, wants to. Well, not only She's that. She's trying to. Yeah. What? I think the fact that he... St- like talks about New York to says that, you know what I mean? I think he's I think he's interested in New York. I would be if I was like yeah. Like Oh my gosh. Let's we'll see if we have Kung Fu. Hang on. I think he's interested in we do. Kung Fu on me. We got Kung, Kung Fu, Fu on, on me. We got Kung Fu on me. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> you were so funny. God. I can't wait to see that kung fu of you doing that and shaking your head <laughs> anywhere. I'm gonna watch it right now. Is that happening? Let me see. <laughs> it got skipped over. I can't wait to see that kung. What? Got- <laughs> <laughs> Is it kung fu or kung fu? Kung. 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 I think you're saying kung, and it's. Making I am you saying kung fu. <laughs> Kung, no, it's not as easy to say. Kung. What's up, sis? And kung don't feel right. Don't do it. Kung. Who does it? No. Sis? Jenny on? Yeah. You're so, you are just this. Sis. <laughs> She's my fave. Okay, I, know. I think I have. I thought Jeremiah was your fave. The video. Loaded. He is too, but I don't, sister wise. <laughs> no offense, other one. Out of the one, two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no offense to I that have one. the video loaded into Wirecast. Oh, I bet you do. I sure do. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> Oh, it's sideways. How do I turn this? I hold your head real. I don't know how to turn still it. Still, and try not to move your lips, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> he does that sometimes. Sometimes he. I do I, freeze on it. You I, just did right there. You were just fixing. leave my face alone. No, it's impressive. It's impressive that you can just not move. Sam says I'm fixed already. How is that possible? Oh no, Gary, it's... you're fixed already. Let me take a look at it, guys. It's sideways. I did. My face is fixed. You fixed your face yourself? I didn't fix it. Somebody wow. fixed it. Oh, I figured it out. Oh, that's crazy. 
Oh. Oh. I don't know how we got fixed, guys, because we don't know how to work this equipment or it just don't work. It's starting to fix itself. It's so sick of not being fixed. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll take it. I will, too. Never know. They are young. LOL. I moved uh, from Florida to here when I was in my early 30s. Is that right, Don? It'd be hard to leave Florida. It would be hard to live in Florida? Leave. Leave. Oh, I was going to say. Except they say the summers are miserable. Because it's so hot? Humid. Humid? Like you just sweat. Yeah. You just sweat going outside. What's better though? Humid heat, hot, or dry heat? I think hot. I think dry heat. You think dry heat's better than humid heat? Not for your skin. You don't get wrinkly quick. But it feels better? It feels I don't like sweating hot. just sitting there for no reason. I don't either. I wanna, if I'm going to sweat, I want to work and sweat. Right. Same. <sighs> But if you're hot, you're going to sweat anyway. Not hot heat, not same. <laughs> oh, that's forehead. Yeah. That's forehead sweat more. I okay, wonder yeah, if... and then like human heat, sweat is sweat all over. Yeah. All I, over. I don't know how to play this then once we get in here. I'm trying to set this up and I don't know. Even in Missouri, it was like, it was more a lot more humid than here. Mm, I, yeah, was, Penny. I was so pregnant last summer that I just... Do not have fond memories of heat right now. I thought you did fine. You, you weren't like... <laughs> <laughs> are you being serious or are you joking? Yeah, no. When was I saw my- you at Frog Fest, you were fine. Yeah, I was. I really thought I was going to go into labor after that. That was a lot of walking. Remember when I said, I am not walking, and then That's I ended up walking... <laughs> I thought you were walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You're a trooper, though, because I, I just, I have a lot of respect for you in a lot of ways. But, like, I don't remember you complaining at all. I that would complain so nice. all the time. I would complain all the time. Look at me now. <laughs> I complain all the dumbest stuff. Uh, Dane just got the brunt of it. I bet. That's <laughs> <laughs> what he's for. It's also his fault. No, it is you. No, you <laughs> were a willing participant. In How that. do you know I was a willing participant? <laughs> I know. Uh, is Megan just talking to herself? You two keep talking. What are you saying, Megan? She's trying oh. to get the video going. Oh, I am honestly, I'm kind of talking to myself. I was just trying to figure out. I think it automatically plays when I switch it over into live view, but we'll see how it goes. Teaching myself over here. Oh gosh, I can't, can't imagine a pregnant Gary. Oh my <laughs> lord, that'd be miserable. That'd be hilarious. Oh, it'd be so terrible. It would be. I would love to see it. I think you'd laugh in labor though a little bit. Laugh? You think well, he'd for laugh? like a second? Because sometimes when he's really hurting, he just does a, like a pain laugh. I think. Oh, okay. You guys, I'm watching the Special Forces show because I watched that. You think you could do it? Yeah, except for. This was on the History Channel. You know, they just did the one with the celebrities with Hannah Brown and all those. Yeah. Is it over they now? They ripped that off. Yeah, that one's They over. ripped it off from what? From what? this history show. Yeah. How do you know? Because but it's like identical. But they like regular people, right? Yeah, they okay, use 30 okay. civilians. I feel like And I it's harder with these civilians had to go yeah, through. Yeah, it's History Channel. That seems legit. Yeah. What's this other one on? ABC or yeah. Fox? I don't know. But that one... The part that I wouldn't be able to do is they put these people in boxes. Oh, so gosh. you had to go hide. You dig a hole and hide from these people, and and hide from who? From the Special instructors. Special forces people. Yeah, and they come out at two o'clock in the morning and try to find you, and if they find you, then you're captured and they torture you. They torture you after capturing you. Yeah. I thought the game was going to be over once you got captured. No, they torture you. And they torture you for hours upon hours upon hours. And all these guys are starting to quit. The hardest part of the torture, they play, play the baby crying for hours. They pour water on you. You're, blind, you're blindfolded the whole time. But then they put them in boxes. They put them in a box. So so, so small. You're still blindfolded and your arms are no, bound. I'm out. I'm done. And then I'm they done. shut it. And then they, put a, they have a screwdriver on top. No. And they press the screwdriver against the box. And it sounds like they're screwing... The box but shut, not. but they're not. Mm-hmm. But you don't know that. And people are like, I'm out. I quit. 
I'd be out immediately. I would. They would be like, get in the box. I said, no, get me out of here. <laughs> but the part where I think I can is these instructors just keep saying, you have to embrace the pain. It feels good, does like pain to pleasure. It's that's pain why you to laugh pleasure when you get when you start. Yeah, learning. that's why I think I could do it. Hmm. You can go numb, which I think it would help you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they do a ton but, of running. I, but though. there's but you are not. Um, I don't mean for this to sound bad. Say it for other people, but like when you think something's dumb, you don't won't do it. You know what I mean? Like, what's yeah. the purpose? What are you winning? What's the right. goal? I know. You know what I mean? But if I was invested, like if right now. If you were now. truly invested in it, yeah. then I think you would. Yeah. But I think if it was just for like a show, I don't right. know if you could do it then. I think you'd be like, for entertainment, for people to watch yeah. me. Was the end I know, this? because this one guy wants to quit and they're like, you're going to regret the rest of your life. I'm like, why? It's a TV show. Exactly. No, That's I'm what not. you would say. You're like, regret what? No, I'm not yeah. doing this. This is stupid. I regret that I did it to begin with. I'm talking about regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch it, but I don't know if anything's going to be that first episode for me. Watch well, the real one. I'm crying talking. Listen to these guys talk. You're about crying? Stuff. Yeah. I'm an emotional <laughs> guy. That's <laughs> cute. Yeah. You're cry. You are a weird crier. This one guy. No, I am not. Yes, you are. You cry at weird things. I cry at real life stories because they bring them in and you they ask them, TV "Why are stories. you doing this?" No, these are. They're not scripted. I've never seen you cry at anything real. In your this life. one guy. Anything the reason that he's doing it, he's like a freaking incredible athlete, and he says that he was. Uh, Nobody ever thought he would be successful, even his own parents. His dad. He has a great relationship with his dad. His dad just never told him that he's proud of him. Like those types of things get me. So you started crying because he said his dad never said he was proud of him? Yeah. And he started to cry right in his lasagna. And tears are going right down into it. This pasta meal got me again. And then, not only that, but now it's a brotherhood. They start with 30 people. Now they're down to five. And these five are like brothers. And they're embracing him. They're but saying it's okay, him and you, so It's like bro stuff that makes you cry. Like Bro <laughs> stuff would, yeah. It depends on how close you are. Yeah, but you're crying over people you don't know. I'm crying over the story. Yeah, I with cry music extra if I were there. And all the like theatrics. <laughs> the music gets me, yes. Because I think if someone told you right now, if I said to you, Gary, my dad never told me anything he loved me, I don't think you would cry. See, you didn't no. even look sad at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need sad music playing behind it and like the, the zoom ins. Yeah, the theatrics. And all the theatrics. For sure. Well, you'd yeah. have to say it more emotional than the way you said it because I the way you said it, it I makes it sound like. I cry as I said it. No. But it's not true. I can't say that because it's not true. I know. But I need these guys are crying as they're saying it. You understand? No. <laughs> I was trying to well up some tears. <laughs> <laughs> My brother went through that stuff. That's what I don't understand how he did it. But he's not emotionally available, so I guess I do understand. Willie says he cries too. Aw, that's sweet. You know, I, I like I'm more that. emotional now than I've been, but I, I don't know. I kind of teared up watching The Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger Games. Really? I have nightmares I from that I teared up uh, the part where the little girl dies is sad. Oh, that is buy sad. It. Rue. No. Rue. I don't buy it's it. sad. No, no. and the part sad. where she goes and visits I the district. I thought of the same thing. Yeah, the district when the dad gets mad and he starts yes. beating. I get it. I cried there. That's not when Rue died. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Wow, am I going to look when, I, when I'm dead? No, when I'm dying. She didn't look like she was dying. Because she looked too pretty dying? She yep. Like, that that's is- why. We're about to find out whether or not Megan is memorable. We're not talking about memorable to just some ordinary Lincoln guy. We're talking about memorable to Jake Owen. <laughs> I don't want to get too far into your relationship with him, but there was some intimacy. Mike, turn the radio off for a minute. That's he, her husband. He knows. He knows. He knows about the intimacy. Yeah, he doesn't get jealous. <laughs> he doesn't get jealous. No. Wild. Especially over past things. Like, he doesn't care. Well, he should feel good about himself. Yeah. Yeah? He got you. Right. Does, does he, he ever won. ask you, though? Does he ever ask you if you still think about Jake Owen? No. He doesn't want to know the answer to that problem. No, I just think he he doesn't... He just doesn't, not that he doesn't care. He's just very He doesn't think that way. No, he's he doesn't. Confident. It doesn't, it probably has never crossed his mind like that. Not only that, but if you want him, go get him. I'll go find another girl. Right. That's no, true. That's, that's him. Yeah, he's yeah. like, well, she does it, and I'm out. That's right. 
you and Jake, 2000 what? Like Four, eight or nine. 2008. Eight and into nine, yeah. Into nine. 2008 into nine. There's why is hy- why is that, that matter? Because that means it wasn't just like a one night thing. That no, it, it wasn't. No, you there know was it a wasn't. continuation. She said it that was. it was like five times. You're yeah. talking about <laughs> <laughs> times they saw each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they have private time together, guys. I didn't say that. I just said five, I said time. five times could be just hanging out. I said it. They had private time together. Megan and Jake Owen. That's not a lie. That is for real. No, it's true. Well, guess what? Brooke is down in Nashville, who does afternoons here. She's down in Nashville for a country music seminar. And guess who's at that seminar? Jake Owen. And we asked Brooke if she would do a favor. (laughs) Track down Jake Owen. Show him a picture of Megan. And Megan is willing. She was willing in all of this. She gave Brooke a picture of what she looked like. When she was... During that time. Yeah. Well, I think it was a picture from the night she met him. Yeah, that that was what? the original... Yeah, that, that's how I found that. What do you mean? You took a picture of yourself that night? I was with a friend, and we had a picture taken. Where did you meet him? Why does that matter? That it was does, a bar. I have a, a bar. I have a theory. It was at a bar. He was at a bar, you were at a bar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you went up to him or he came up to you? He came up to me. The, there's a trick to it. I, this was not my Your scent? first yeah. rodeo. No, what you do, you are uninterested. You don't make a deal over someone. I don't understand. Yeah, okay, I see what <laughs> you're saying. So like... Other people but oh, oh, approach. Oh, okay, so everybody not. knows he's Jake Owen. And everybody's approaching him except for her. She's like, I hard don't know. Hard who to get. Hard to get. It's hard yes. to get. Hard I don't to know. That was always are. my game. So in you're life. not, but you do a but little you, eye contact to let him know oh, that yeah, you're kind 100%. of interested yeah, and you, you look away. This. Yeah, you, you have, have to eyes. do something. God, you do the eyes. these games. It's a tactic. It's not like a game. It Exactly. It is a game. Whatever. Cat and mouse. It's a cat and mouse game. What are you supposed to do? Go up to him and be like, no. I like you. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, right. she did it. Listen, I'm not I'm not saying that she did it right. She yeah, did it right, it, but it is it is what it is. The success the success rate. Sex. Excuse me. <laughs> she said the sex rate. She can't stop thinking about it. She can't stop thinking about it. It's it's high. High. So you met him in a bar and then, you know, and then and then this went on for a, a bit. In Nashville and even back here in Lincoln. Yeah. Said you went out at a restaurant with him here. You guys, where he was spotted here. Uh, so all of this is just part of your past, and it's something, It's you know, it's it's a great memory that you had. Sure. Is it a great memory for Jake? Does Jake remember you? That's the question. And Ooh. guess what? Brooke tracked him down yesterday in Nashville and asked him, showed him a picture of you, and asked him if he remembered you. Yes, and this was the extra piece of information. I asked her specifically, like the wordage. She said, I'm Brooke. I'm from Lincoln, yeah. Nebraska. Do you recognize this girl? So my name wasn't said. Did he? And Okay, okay. That was my okay. extra piece of information. Okay. So. Well, I have another extra piece of information like on top to of that. I'm not going to tell you that yet. We're okay. going to take a break when we come back. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to tell everybody whether or not Jake remembered you okay. in his own words, right? Because we have that. Right. We're going to play that for you. And then if you're on the Tracy's Collision Cam, we'll play the video of Jake, too, and what his response was. And then I'll share with you the extras. Oh, extras. my gosh. Oh, my god. Okay? Ew, uh-huh. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll find all of this out when we come back in a minute. I'm on my way to work this morning. I thank you for everything you two do on the radio in the morning. Gary and Jake. <laughs> she sure did. Six sex ray. Oh my gosh. There's a tongue tie. Oh, it's perfect. Tongue twist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <coughs> curious what your extras are. Ah. To Cali, to Cali. Great spot for that, Gary. (sighs) 
feel like it's breaking up, guys. That's good. They, they Finally, to, uh, get it out. Get it out of there. <laughs> Whoa. That is excessive. <laughs> <laughs> that is not nasty, Pamela. Oh, my God. <coughs> that is nasty, Gary. That is nasty. I'm, like, desensitized to it. I know. You felt like you had to say something. You're over there playing with your hair and stuff. You weren't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say it genuinely. No, you didn't. You just felt like you had to say something I because did. I was there. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you've been I think you've been congested since I've met you. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Not this kind, not chest you congestion. Had, no, it gets worse. There's variations of it. But you have always had like asthmatic qualities about you. <laughs> I'm asthmatic a little I, bit. That's a qual yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know, but like it's weird. I don't know. I don't see you as a person with asthma, but you sure do. <laughs> slight you sure do. slight asthma. Slight asthma yeah. every day. No. Every day no. you sound asthmatic. No, I do not. Yes, you do. You ain't never been around asthmatic. <laughs> True, Every day 100%. I have. No, you have not. <laughs> Every day. A slight when you have. Think about this. Five days a week for six years. Yes, I've been around. I just wheezing today. <laughs> hey, uh, Megan. Yeah. How are you going to play this? Well, <clears throat> I think when I move it over, nobody's ever taught me this before, so... I think when I move it over into the live spot on Wirecast, it's going to automatically play, play. it. Yeah. Well, the part right? the problem with that is that we can't. There's a delay on the. Oh yeah yeah. Um. So we just need for this break. I just need the audio. Okay. Yeah, and then but why don't you play the video? So if you could just uh, from my phone to the mic. Will right. it sound okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then maybe when we go into the break, you can try to play it for then everybody I'll play the video. on the cam. Got yeah. you. Oh, Gary, you wheeze a lot, buddy. Have you asked your doctor? I, am, I have asthma. He has asthma. Ashley, I have medication. But this is from just a, like a chest cold or something. Does it well. scare you to use your inhaler as much as you should because you I don't thrush? use it. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know that's where I got it from. Dot com slash froggy 981. Time to find out whether or not Jake Owen remembers... Megan, they met at a bar, he spotted her, she spotted him, she gave a little I'm interested look with probably combo laugh, I guess, and then looked away. Jake's like, what? Why isn't she like the other girls? Let me find out. He tracked her down. And then a nice little romance took place. Five times we hear. <laughs> Ish. I don't know. Who's Ish. counting? <laughs> like, is there Who's more? counting? <laughs> yeah. Um, Brooke is in Nashville right now for a seminar, a radio seminar, and we asked her to find him, Jake, who is also there, and show him a picture of Megan to see if he remembers what she uh, re remembers her. I mean, it's been how many years? It's been. Uh, oh my gosh. I, I'm terrible with math. How many years is that? What year was it? 2009? Eight and nine. 15 years ago? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. 15 years ago. Does he remember you? That's the question. We have the answer. Are you ready to play for everybody? I am. And then we're going to show you on the Tracy's Collision hey Cam. What's up, y'all? We have Jake video Owen, Megan, of him. How could I in his response to whether or not very hard person. Uh, hey guys, what's, what's up, y'all? Hey, are we Megan, ready? Went in How could I forget? <laughs> One last little very hard piece of information that you hey said. Guys, what's up, y'all? Shake going here. Megan, uh, Brooke I just showed the picture and didn't say your name. You're very hard to forget. Right? Correct. Hey she guys, said, Lily. What's up, y'all? I'm from Shake Lincoln. She said, I'm Brooke from Lincoln, Nebraska. Do you know this girl? Okay. You're very hard to forget. On the Trace Collision Cam, you can see your Megan. What's up, y'all? Shake going here. That's the picture that she, Brooke, showed Jake Owen. Very hard to forget. Uh, let's go ahead hey and guys, play Jake's response. What's up, y'all? Shake going here. Megan, 
that I definitely remember you. How could I forget you? Hey guys. You're very hard to forget. <laughs> hey guys. What's up, y'all? Shit going here. Megan, I definitely remember you. How could I forget you? You're, you're very hard to forget. Hey guys. What's up, y'all? Shit going here. Megan, yeah, that was I definitely my phone. remember okay. How could I forget you? So let's you're, recite. You're very hard to forget. You said your name. Hey guys. Megan. What's up, y'all? Megan, how could I forget you? Megan, I definitely remember you. And what was the second part? I know you haven't memorized. You're very hard to forget. Hey guys, he said, what's Megan, up, y'all? I definitely remember Megan, you. I definitely How could remember I forget you? you? How could I forget you're you? Very hard to you're forget. very hard to forget. Oh, it's on repeat. Hey guys, what's, what's up, y'all? Oh, is Megan, it? I yeah, we'll try to figure that out. So, you're yeah, very he hard remembers to forget. you. That has to make you feel hey guys, great. What? What's up, y'all? That's crazy. Megan, I definitely remember you. How could yeah? I forget you? You're, I mean, you're very hard to forget. I'm surprised. What's up, y'all? Because you would think he's had plenty of girls. You're very hard to forget. I would react more crazy. What's up, y'all? Like, more like, Oh my gosh, Megan, but Megan could not could hold it in yesterday. She's like, I have to show hey you guys. Guys. What's up, y'all? Like, we don't want to know here. until tomorrow. Megan, and she could not. Could she was so excited you're, you're very hard that he remembered her. Hey that she guys. brought What's up, in here. I thought Shake there was an here. emergency. Megan, I, yeah. I was like, what happened? You're, Are you okay? She's like, yeah. Plays hey guys, it really? What's up, y'all? It's Shake crazy. Megan, yeah. I definitely remember you. How could I forget? There's something you're, I need to very hard tell you. I don't know. Hey guys, what's up, y'all? Oh Megan, okay. I definitely remember you. How could I forget you? This is the extra very hard that I have about this one. Hey guys, look. what's up, y'all? Shake going Joanna here. doesn't. Megan, even know. I, I don't know. How could I forget you? You're, I can take a very guess hard to from the music. Hey guys, what's up, y'all? Shake going here. Can we shut off the sound? I think I did. You're very hard to forget. People keep saying they can't hear us. What's up, y'all? Going here. Oh, they Megan, only I hear guess this. How could I forget you? Megan, Megan just has it on repeat. Hi, <laughs> guys. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I, I, I hit it. Yeah, Megan, I remember you. Remember. How could I forget you? You're very hard to forget. <laughs> she knew you were going to say guys, something bad. What's up, y'all? She claims that she don't know how to fix Megan, it. Megan, I definitely remember. I think I did. It's deleted very hard off of there. Hey, guys. What's up, y'all? Shake going here. It's still going, but that's okay. How could I forget you? It's definitely so very hard to forget. I don't know. What's up? Let's just, let's. We'll worry about that in a second. <laughs> okay. Here's what I have to tell you. I've got to come clean. Okay. All of this is real. Right. However, I did have a side conversation with Brooke. And I said, maybe what we should do is tell Jake to make you feel better. That he remembered you. Oh, stop. I, I had side conversation. Not. And I said, I want the real answer. Is this and real? And she said, I would give you the real answer. And she said, ha, 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 that's hilarious. <laughs> let's do it. And let's also, she, the plan was that Jake was going to remember you, and then she was going to talk to a bunch of country artists, and they all were going to remember you as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. What? That was the plan. Okay. So <laughs> after so I found naughty. out, after I found out yesterday when you were so excited and I said, save it, I don't want to hear it. Right. You were so excited about the news that you had to tell us yesterday. Yeah. I messaged Brooke and I said, Brooke, is it real? Because of because our conversation. Because had this conversation. I already had right. the conversation that we were going to fake the whole thing. Yeah. And? I'm sad to say. That it is real. He does remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's she hilarious. She said absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. He remembered you. I would hope That's so. That's wild. It was like it was like. <laughs> I would hope so. It she was like really a happy well. year. That was she a really roller performed. coaster for me. Oh my gosh. First thing in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope so. It was about like six to nine months-ish. I got to call my friend. That's, so that's not like a one-night stand. It's fixed now. I don't get it. I don't either. Some people are still going. <laughs> hey, man. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I could have taken it for sure, though. I was, honestly, I was preparing for if you didn't remember me. That's I, a long time ago. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine that Gary would have let you be that excited this whole time oh no i wouldn't have cared i think gary knows like it it takes a lot to embarrass me like a lot oh my god you know what i mean yeah no it honestly it would be embarrassed i'd be so embarrassed if i acted if that it would have, if it would have happened like yeah if it, we would have i mean 
oh, it's radio. I'm here for yeah, it. I, I would have done it. I'm Gary, sorry. I'm team player. I'm team player. I would have been I'll so take a, I'll take a beating be here and again. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed. That's, I'd laugh later. You know what, though? It's part of it. It's part of the job. But what, what, I, what we would have done is we would have given you that version that you had, and then I'd say, here's the real version. And the real version would be him saying, I have no idea who that woman is. Right. Oh my gosh, that I would have been, been a, really funny. Jake you know really what, screwed though? this up for us. Making you being memorable screwed it I up I liked his wordage. It was good. And you know what's so funny is because I remember saying something to him about, like, about some, it was something about forgetting or when this is all over or whatever, you know, and then he said, you're going to be hard to forget. And that's what he said at the end of the video. So it was like the exact what? thing he said to me. He said to you that you were going to be hard to yeah. forget. Yeah, and, he and hasn't, yeah. when he said it in the video, that was the last thing he said. So I was like, "Oh, that was literally what he told me at the end." That is crazy. Did you cry when it was over? I mean, it was. It's just one of those things. Like you it's knew okay it couldn't. You, you knew it couldn't go. Any further, I was invited to go on the bus and go places, but I had my son and I couldn't, oh, you were I couldn't mom. leave. Yeah, yeah I right. couldn't leave. And it, if I was single, I probably would have taken a chance and left. Yeah. You know? Oh, Brooke missed it. Oh, no. Brooke missed what? The, she the was break. on the plane. She to- Some plane already? Mm-hmm. On the can't. What? Oh. Yeah, she was at the airport last time. I do know what I'm doing, Anthony. <laughs> <sighs> no, not going to cry, but I'm looking forward to going to see him at Sturkov. If I get the meet and greet, I think that'd be some good content to pull. Yeah. I think we need to do the meet and greet. Talk to Corey. <laughs> I know. Oh, he's like the gatekeeper on that he stuff. Is. He loves it. I'll just probably reach out on my own. I would. I would I not would. go through Corey. Yeah. No, I wouldn't either. I wish I didn't delete his number. Yeah. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> uh, oh, that's way mine now, I suppose. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I don't know what happened with that loop. I was going to say, I- because did it have the video? Did the video play? Huh? No, it was just the picture. Well, I'm going to, that's weird. I'm just curious for future how I do this. I'm sorry, guys. Nobody ever taught me No, that. that's no, happened don't before. Apologize. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. remember when <laughs> the oh, toilet the baby. noise? Yeah. The I don't toilet know what... noise was like for an hour. Yeah. You got it fixed way faster than the last time it happened. <laughs> the <Yeah>. toilet. <laughs> there was flushing <laughs> noises because we had like, this video <laughs> when we would go to the bathroom yeah. bathroom break <laughs> okay well do it's they... like the one good thing kyle did around here oh my gosh <laughs> was that little screen that he put well, up now we can show the video and then i know how to delete it now because they didn't get to see him right no they, they just saw you oh, there he megan i definitely remember you how could i forget you you're, you're very hard to forget it's a plane now. Like it's, hey guys, it's a plane. what's up y'all shake going here it. megan it's i definitely remember you how could i forget you you're, you're very hard to forget <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't do it again, Willie says. Megan, I definitely remember. Okay, I heard the audio so much. You're very How do I get rid of it now? Hey, guys, look. What's up, y'all? I have no idea. Megan, I definitely remember you. How could I forget you? You're very... Okay. I need to know how to do this anyway, in case we ever put something up. Don't lube it. Sam, we don't know how to not lube I'm it. learning. I'm, I don't know how to do any of this. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Did it work? Did it go away now? I guess there's a delay. Right. I have no, PTSD. it's. Yeah, I think it. I think it worked, but I don't know. I hope it's gone. Another I'm gear. sorry, guys. No, I don't have another video to practice with. Wait a minute. Is it still looping? Now let me try this. Good job, Josh. Running every day. Oh, yeah, it took it off. Okay, now I know how to do it. Now we see. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, perfect. Well, now I know for next time. Thank (coughs) you, guys. Sorry about that. (coughs) Now I'm kind of considering going back dark again with my hair. You liked it. 
I mean, the both the I see that both the people I saw I was dark hair then. Oh, you're down to the last little. Yeah, that'll last us twenty minutes. How many you got in there? Just divide them up. No, <laughs> oh. I would agree with you actually. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So does that mean you get three? Mm-hmm. That's the way it works. Uh, I don't know. What if I did get a song? That'd be cool. I always wanted to be a muse for a song. Oh, dang it. My headphones just went out again. I don't I'm know what to tell you. Oh, but, oh. This thing is, is so loose. Huh? Like, no. oh. Tell me. No, it's left ear. There, it's back. There, it's good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> what? Okay. Need to start bringing items in for the garage sale next week. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. You bring it here? Well, we talk about them on the air. Oh, okay. Wish I could find my caveman teeth. I won't sell them, but. Caveman what? teeth? What do you mean? Before I got my braces. You have your teeth? Oh my God, Johanna, we've talked about this. No, we haven't. I have a mold of my teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have talked about that. I was thinking physical, actual <laughs> teeth. I'm like, you had more in there? You got oh. a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh, somebody got the hots for Megan. Oh, Anthony's my buddy. Mm. Um. No, the coffee is not refilled. No. Bro. Is that Brooke, Brooke? Yeah. It is not refilled, Brooke. And it's this is the worst week for it to not be refilled. Right? Yeah, with daylight savings time and all. Seriously. Um, Samantha, come Friday night. That's when we'll all be there. So tired. Uh, I am too. Are we all there Friday? Yeah. For what? Yeah. We have in one hour where, we're, where we are all there yeah. together. What are you talking about? For the garage sale. Garage sales. Oh. We won't have time to chat, though. I don't you gotta remember work. my hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think yours 4:30 is... 4.30 to 6.30. Is that right? You're with Corey, right? Yeah. I think so. Yours is what, 6 to 8? Where's mine? No, six I think to ours eight. is 7 to 9. Oh, so mine's 6 to 8. That's what it is. Guys, I'm so tired. Aww. I've been partying all weekend. I, that sound, that looks she like trying fun. to complain on here. Brooke trying to complain. After I'm she's so just had tired of hanging out with Jay. Right. <laughs> Staying in a hotel room. Who was your favorite person that you met, Brooke? I want to know. I bet it was Jelly Roll. Are you wearing them je- <laughs> velvet pants right now? <laughs> right now? I don't think she'd travel. No way. Uh,. Yeah, we have a garage sale in a couple of weeks, guys. That's what we're talking about now. Actually, all of us, because it's, yeah. What? Everyone who's on Froggy will be there in that hour. Oh, yeah. From what, what's the, oh, seven, seven o'clock? Seven to eight? Well, I'm not kidding. We got to work. <coughs> That's I right. take it very seriously. I know you do. <laughs> she ain't watching. Go ahead and say why. <laughs> Jelly Roll and Frank Ray. Why do you and I get in trouble for the dumbest stuff? Dumbest stuff. Oh my gosh. Getting told on by coworkers' <laughs> parents. <laughs> Didn't you believe that? Uh, Does that happen at anybody else's work? <laughs> Funniest thing was, is I wasn't even working. I wasn't even getting paid to be there. No. We were talking I think they the asked me not to work because they didn't want to pay, pay me. you, that's right. I was that okay? Yeah, I figured Jelly Roll would be your favorite, Brooke. Was his wifey there? She seems cool. Oh, she's so cool. Do you listen to her podcast, Dumb Blonde? I've watched clips. I like it. <sighs> <laughs> hmm. I gotta start sorting stuff. I gotta go start going through stuff. I genuinely have like a lot. I gotta stop saying that word. I really have what? a lot of. I say genuinely a lot, and I don't That's like. That's a it. tough word to use a lot. I know, and I do. I'm a frequent user of genuinely. it. Genuinely, four syllables. That's a yeah. 
I mean, it's like a smart, dumb thing honestly. to do, I guess. A lot of people overuse honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I used to overuse honestly, and I switched to genuinely. What's the now? one word you used to use all the time? Which one? There's oh, a lot. Oh, my God, no. Yeah, no, which one? Annoying. That's so annoying. Oh, <laughs> That's annoying I did that. <laughs> you guys remember? Because I tried to get you to use different words. Frustrating. Oh, yeah, you were so mean. No, I wasn't. You're I just kind of mean. <laughs> I was not. That's kind of mean. <laughs> no, it was not. Yes, it is, because now I remember that. <laughs> you don't say it no more? I actually thank you, because I don't want to be that type of person. Yeah. Tell me. Oh. I guess so. Maybe I just am naturally, and you're hindering my natural growth. I sped Ability. it up. Not you'd still be talking oh, like that. Well, that that is around I the same sped time. It up. You uh, think I talk slow? No, I sped up the development of you dropping oh. annoying. <laughs> I don't. What if I never would have known? That's right. That's a good friend telling you. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Seriously. Mm. Yeah, that's another one. I get in ruts. I will say. I see. I will I say. I don't think it's... you do anymore. I think you're pretty good. I didn't even notice it genuinely. Yeah, I notice it about myself. I don't like it. What's up, sis? What are you doing? Oh, my God. I'm honey. You ever say a word, it comes out of you, and you don't know if you know what it means? Sometimes I take a chance and say it, and I don't <laughs> know if I'm saying it right. I said vehemently yesterday. Or Chris day. wants to check out your achievement. Is that not the most adorable picture of all time? It's not a good picture, but yes, it I is. Just, it. Nobody notices what you notice. It is. It's cute. my bad sign. Oh, if that's Gary's your bad like, side, you know that trend, Megan, of I'm those really yes. beautiful models. Yes, and they're like my good side. Oh and my like, god! Please don't even try to like, compare me. I'm not head here over, for this. and it like looks exactly I the know. same. You're like, oh, okay, yep. So true. You Isn't don't have it? to say that, Chris, because they are saying it. What did he say? That you look cute? He said it's a great shot. Oh. Same thing. Yeah, it's nice. They, they get the stripe on there straight? Not right now. Huh? Maybe yeah. But it's it's like chilly, though. What were you asking, Johanna? Maybe so, Craig. The stripe, like... I think it w- I would drive me crazy if they put the stripe on not straight. Ooh. You can straighten it. Don't look like he's going straight. No, I don't. He's it's experienced. Not. He knows what he's doing. Is it straight? Are your stripes straight? I think they are. <laughs> Ooh. That could be like a euphemism. Your stripes straight? That's adorable. That's both good. I, I need to get going. I can win yesterday finally. I got to get going. I got to get another stripe. I can tell. I saw a twinkle in your eye. That's you did? Funny. I did. I saw a twinkle in your eyes. I feel I feel better. It's crazy. I feel better. I know. This is the same song and dance, man. You got to move your body or else you get depressed. It's sad. It is. (laughs) Cause sometimes it you're like, it's, 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 uh, confusing. Cause you feel like it's better to just relax and not do anything that that's going to be healthy for your mind. It is not. not. Mm. That was me last night. Except for I really did need to, I needed to decompress really bad. You did? How'd yeah. you do it? Well, I went, I started watching a show. That decompressed you? No. Well, it kind of did. It was good to like, because I get like high strung at the end of the night. Like I do try to do too much at, at the end of the night. And you know, time's ticking. You got to get it all done. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, at first I didn't. I decompressed first. And then I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I had to get up and go do stuff. So. Really? I tried. Tried to let it go. I think I stayed up later last night than I normally do because I could. I did, gave myself some chill time, and then I regretted it. Hmm. Brooke, if I you can have someone back on the, the plane, like karate chop your back. Out. What's that? What? Brooke, What'd you what? Say? Oh, she asked how you can break up stuff in your chest. You can thump your thymus. That's that middle hard piece above the boobs, below the sternum. That makes you happy and breaks up your... Yeah, it's the spot for everything. It does everything for you. That's a pleasure spot? Heck yeah. It's an energizer. You know what's you. funny? When I do it, I like the feeling in my finger, fingers. Yeah, that's the energy coming out of it. Is that really yeah, what that is? is. <coughs> yeah. Com slash froggy 981. Like a cup of coffee.
and the sunrise. You're listening to Gary and Johanna in the morning on Froggy 98. Hey, good morning. Tomorrow morning, we have uh, What's in the Box, and we have got Jake Owen tickets you can win. So we're, we're needing three people to, to come into the studio tomorrow, just after 7 o'clock, that want to play. The fastest time, we have an item we put in a box. Whoever can guess what it is, the fastest will win tickets to uh, Jake Owen. I'm, I'm assuming we don't have anybody booked yet, do we? No, we don't. Okay. We don't even know what we're putting in the box. We have some ideas. And I got scared a little bit after last week's. Yeah. We did uh, mouse traps, and I don't even know if we talked about this. If we did, it was briefly earlier in the week. There was a, I got called into Penthouse Amy's office on Friday after the show. I hate these text messages that when she doesn't. It's can you, can you come see me after the show for That's a few so minutes? Cryptic. That's it. That's all she says. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, what to expect. And I think at my, I'm at this point at, at a point in my career where, for the most part. I say to myself, I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good spot to be in. It is. But I do care. That's the problem. Right. I think I'm in that spot emotionally, but I don't know that I actually am. Mm, Right. Because it's nerve-wracking every step that you take up those steps to the penthouse. I'm wondering, what is this about? Now, I think that it is the mousetraps. It's got to be. Because five minutes before that, Earrings pops his head in the doorway, and he hasn't come in here all this week. Have you noticed? I think he's mad at us. Yeah. He pops his head in, and he says, please tell me those weren't real (laughs) mousetraps. And we say, yes, absolutely they were. (laughs) With no hesitation. With no hesitation. No, I had to say there was sponge. Gary, no hesitation. She said, yeah, absolutely they were were mousetraps. And he was just going to leave it at that. I said, but there's sponges. But there were sponges. I told Amy about the sponges, too. I don't think they understand the sponges. Yeah, and then... And then... Oh, yeah. Second level, Megan, after you and I have already discussed that, we're like... We're like saying, emphasizing that it was it wasn't going to really hurt them. Megan does it again to herself, and she's like, "Ow, that actually really hurt!" And she's Just like yelling, oh, oh, Megan, how bad? Sh- keep it like, down." No, it didn't hurt. Quiet your mouth. Uh, so now we have to really have waivers signed. Yeah, J- yeah, yeah. No and matter I what it is. I get it. I understand. I understand. Now we did all these tests on it. We knew that nobody was going to get hurt. But you never know. You never know who we're dealing with who will get these listeners coming here. You know right. what I mean? I like to think that they're all great and they, they would never do anything to harm us. But you never know. You never know. So I said, I had said to Penn House Amy, I said, ain't a verbal good enough? Because we have them do verbals on live on the <laughs> we radio. We have live, live recorded. She said, no, I don't think so. I, said, I would okay. think that would be binding enough, but we'll do the waivers. We have the waivers. We now. have waivers. So just know you're going to have to sign a waiver when you come in. All right. And also, no, we're not purposely going to try to hurt you, but I guess we don't never know. What if you got brittle bone disease? <laughs> what is- <laughs> How do we know if you got brittle bone? Yeah, we don't. I wouldn't probably play this game if you have brittle bone. Unless you're wanting to get your bones crushed. Why are you wanting to get your bones crushed? <laughs> so you can take legal action against this. That's how Ooh, people, people think. People throw themselves in front of mail trucks all the time. But what do they also do when they say uh, caution wet, wet oh, area yeah, they go in a grocery there. store? They slip They'll slip bit. on purpose and fall. I always think of that when I'm driving past people that are walking on the sidewalk. What if I'm driving past a crazy who wants to I've wants thought of that too. To they you. throw themselves out they in front of They throw themselves in front of my car. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that too. I hate it. I'm like, oh, and then I scoot over a little bit. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, are we going to do, well, since we're doing waivers, to me, that says we can still do crazy <laughs> stuff. Right. Seems like we can do crazier now. Yeah, we, it does. That you agree. Yeah. I, I think so. Know. We'll have some. I don't think we have to tamp it down. We probably won't. Why would we? I don't know. Nobody's watching lame stuff. We got to keep the audience engaged. <clears throat> yeah. And she goes, she says to me, Penthouse Amy, she had people texting her phone. Who? Saying, can you believe, she says, I had people texting my phone saying, can you believe, I can't believe they're doing mousetraps. 
And I said, Amy, that's good. That's a positive. You want people to talk about what we're doing. <laughs> right. They're not saying, oh, I hate them for doing mousetraps. Right. They're saying it's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that that's what they were saying. <laughs> that's a positive word, I don't know I think. that that's what they were saying, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, if you want to come in and play, listen, somebody will win Jake Owen tickets for coming in. You put your hands in a box. You don't know what's in it. There's two holes on each side of it. We have a camera inside so everybody can watch as you fumble around and touch it. Uh, the fastest time wins tickets. So say something. If you're watching on the Tracy's Collision Cam, tell us whether or not you want to come in, or you can text the show to at 474-FROG. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Like a cup of coffee and a sunrise. You're listening to Gary. Oh. Hey, Rita, this knot on my back. Oh, my gosh. Knot on your back. Stuff in your lungs. I, didn't see <gasps> I nothing have an about idea for the box. Lungs. You have it? I have an idea. You have, yeah. I have. For right. box? Yeah, for the box tomorrow. Okay. What? She has an idea for box tomorrow. You're going to smell cereal here in a second. Cereal. I like it. What kind of cereal? Pistachio. Mm-hmm. Mm. You turn off your mic so you can... <laughs> Carrie, don't choke. <laughs> Yeah, I want to smell it. You lifted your nose up. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd waffle over better if I lift my nose up. I can't smell it. I think you jinxed it. Oh, I'm sorry, Anthony. Oh, yeah. It smells more like a pistachio. It kind of does taste like cereal if you have that mindset. You can talk yourself into it. <laughs> trying to make sure there was no dairy in this. Oh my god! Why would there be dairy in it? Never know anymore. I what? just had an allergic reaction, so it's fine. Did mm. you really? Mm-hmm. It wasn't a bad one. I get a rash all over my stomach, and then I get I one. Have a little rash right now. I get one from my and neck my down to my small. chest, and yeah, I get puffy. It's weird. It's traveled like. When I was first, when I first, it was really bad. It was my whole body, and then it like moved to just it was my neck. Yeah, like my neck my and neck. my face. No, that's not a good area. I know. And then it moved to my legs for a while, and now it's. I take the legs. And now yeah. it's torso. It don't go to the neck no more. No, it hasn't. No, not in not. You know what's crazy? It hasn't since I had the twins. Oh, interesting. That's mm. when I developed a cinnamon allergy. Was after my first pregnancy. I had nothing wrong with me when I when I was pregnant with the twins. It was like the most healthy I felt. Really? Like my body like healed itself for a while. You could have milk then. Yeah, it didn't bother me. I mean, I could, I could kind. I didn't really what try. What's going but... on with your body? That's weird. What? I said, what's going on with your body? That's weird. No, it's not. It's very common when you when you have born. no allergies when you're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, your hormones horrible. change. It's actually, yeah, it's really normal because yeah. I talked to my doctor about it. Well, what happened was that how I found out, <laughs> you know me, I live fast and loose. And um, I was craving a milkshake so bad. And I had it. <laughs> I don't even know what they taste like. And I wanted one so bad when I was pregnant, like desperately wanted one. So I made Dane get one just so I could taste it to see. And I did. And I didn't have an allergic reaction. He like, knew that you're allergic to milk, and he let you drink that. Yeah, I yes, I took a Claritin first, which a Claritin doesn't fix all the symptoms, but it doesn't Claritin, make it. Claritin, you have to build that up in your system. I take a Claritin every day. Well, not Claritin. I take Claritin, Zyrtec, and then an off brand. I rotate them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which surprises me a little bit. Why? Because you're kind of anti-medicine. You know what I mean? Like I'm not. Stuff. Yeah, it surprises you. I take ibuprofen, Tylenol. I guess all those not. things. If you don't, if there's nothing worse than like f solving your allergies, like just normal allergies, and then get it, not taking your medicine, and then it come coming back. You feel like you're sick. <coughs> right. What? Oh damn it! <laughs> I was gonna go to the bathroom, but I won't. <coughs> Um. 
We yeah, say Deb, that it does work. True. It works to rotate them. My, I had this doctor that I really liked. I went to in Hawaii, and he is the one who told me to do that. Because your body gets used to it, or what? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe he told me that because it's placebo. I don't know. I feel like it works so. Um, and it was nice though because that can it, it's kind of how you imagine kind of expensive. Yeah, no kind as it is. Yeah, I know. Generics the same. Sorry. No, it's not. The same price. Same medicine. Oh yeah. Paying for the brand name. They say that, but I think they concoct it differently. I talked to another thing the same kind of. I did a live broadcast one time for, I want to say it was Johnsonville, don't quote me on it, <laughs> brats. And the guy told me that that brat, the generic brat that, at this particular grocery store is the exact same as the Johnsonville. Who told you that? The Johnsonville person. Said, Why yeah, we would buy. they tell you that? Because, I don't know, he felt like he knew me, I suppose. Tell me extra information. You know what though? I believe that they say that they sell. They sell all, so they make all these, and they sell. They sell that to the grocery store and still make a profit off of it. But so they're making profit both ways. But they're you buying the Johnsonville name, and I'm a name guy, so I still do that. I buy generic too. But have a great day today. Be careful out there. It's not. I don't think we're having any freezing rain or anything yet. Is spitting out some stuff. Windy, rainy for most of the day today, and then uh, pretty cold over the weekend. Forgot to mention this. Congratulations to the girls last night. Anybody see that that shot by Jazz? Is it Shelly? Is that how you say her name? I have no idea, but it sounds cool. Well, you were going to go to the game. But I didn't, was going to go, yeah. She made a half-court shot. Dang! Yeah, yeah. That's was, awesome. Yeah, yeah. And um, they they ended up winning. They're in the NIT tournament, so they're going to continue to to play. Um, if you missed Why Am I Still Single this morning, we had Mike and Shelby on the show. They both said uh, that they wanted to exchange information. So we've already done that, or if not, we will be yeah, shortly. Yeah, they have it. Okay. I wonder if they've reached out yet. I know we say we stay out of it, but I'm so curious <laughs> about it, you know? Well, I have them on Monday's show to tell us where this is uh, where this is going. And then we'll have another guy or girl, a feature that you can... Uh, meet and come on the show next Thursday for Why Am I Still Single if you're interested. Tomorrow we have What's in the Box. Jake Owen tickets. They officially go on sale tomorrow. He's going to be at Stir Concert Cove on Saturday, June the 10th. If you want to win tickets before you can buy them, tomorrow's your last chance with What's in the Box. So make sure to get a hold of us and uh, we can have you on the show tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Hang on. A bunch of music is on the way with some Morgan Wallen next. Wake myself, wake, wake myself for the sun of the morning. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you later.